In today's video, I'm gonna go over a potentially frustrating issue when working with the filter function. And that's when dealing with blank values. So in this table here, I've got a list of matches for the English Premier League for the current season. And over here, I'm, I'm using the filter function to just pull in the, the matches involving Liverpool when it's the home team. So I've correctly set up the filter function looking at this field when it's a match for Liverpool. So I've got these values pulled in and I've got these matches. I've got the schedule in here. But the problem is instead of blanks for the scores, it's putting in 0-0. Zero, zero. So this can be confusing. It looks like maybe the results have already been, been played for some of these matches or all of them in this case. But they're actually blank values. It's putting in zeros. And so how do we get around this? So the easiest way to fix this is right now these are just blanks. So this, this occurs if you just select these cells and delete them, then they show up as blanks. So even though I press the delete key, it still pulls in as a zero. So to make Excel read this as a blank value, what I'm actually gonna do is type in equals and put in two quotes. And when I do that, then it's gonna actually interpret it as a blank value. And you'll notice now that the first value is completely gone. So now I can paste this down and you can see those, those zeros disappear. Do the same thing over here, put it into quotes, copy down, and again, those zeros disappear. But you may, may think, okay, I don't wanna put in formulas in here, right? That looks like a bit of an eyesore, especially if you've got these notices saying they're unprotected formulas. So what you can do is select all these formulas and then hit Control C and then Control Shift V to paste as values. So now they're pasted as values, you don't see those formulas anymore and they're no longer pulling in as zeros. So I can do the same thing over here, Control C and then Control Shift V to paste as values. And by doing so, now Excel's properly reading these values as blank values and not zeros when applying the filter function. So that's how you can get around that issue when working with the filter function. For more tips like this, check out howtoexcel.net and my YouTube channel, at H2E.